welcome back to the channel i have not uploaded any single video since three or four weeks i guess sorry for that the reason is that i somehow started preparing for the interviews and i also started applying different different opportunities here in germany so the motivation behind doing this is to have personal and real time experience of the interviews i mean i wanted to know how the format of the interview looks like in 2021 what are the frequently asked questions and i wanted to gather all those experiences so that i can share this data with you because the thing is i know i can talk to many of my friends i can ask them about their interview experiences how was the interview how many rounds what are the latest trends in the market etc but when i personally experience those things i feel more confident and genuine to share this experience during last couple of weeks i applied for five to six opportunities i mainly use linkedin and glassdoor uh, one thing that i noticed companies these days started giving remote roles and most of the opportunities uh, offer either full remote or partial remote like home office option for a couple of days so let me explain the format of the interview but before that let's see some recent modification in the policies for the immigrants as well as non eu applicants who want to work or study in germany there has been a lot of new changes which are really favorable for those who are planning to move germany in this or coming year So let me explain you those new policies. The first change is that now employer can fast forward the procedure for qualified applicants at relevant foreign registration office in Germany. So this move has been introduced to shorten the duration of the administrative procedure for the issuing of visa. The second important change now the federal employment agency in Germany will now no longer check whether a specific job can be filled by an applicant from Germany or Europe. Because of this employer can now easily hire candidate from foreign countries. yet the agency will still verify if the employment conditions match or not but because of this change the foreign staff hiring is getting increased day by day there is an important change for the students here in germany now students can get a job as a qualified professional while studying or receiving a vocational training under certain preconditions this is really great opportunity for students as for foreigners who have successfully completed a vocational training course or a graduation in germany they can now apply for permanent settlement permit upon a period of 2 years in the country So these are some important highlights from the latest news. I have already put down all the relevant links of source in the description box. Please validate them by yourself. And now I will talk about my interview experience as a software engineer. So the first step that I took, I started looking for a job opportunities and I shortlisted 4 to 5 job postings. Then I researched about the company, I studied the job description, I understood what kind of skills they are looking for. The next step that I took Obviously I updated my resume with new learnings and new skill set I modified the format a little bit I also highlighted my skills as per the roles that I was targeting along with this I brushed up my skills and I started reading some theory as well So the general format of the interview is like they will shortlist the applicants first and the first call will always be a get to know call Basically this call is nothing but a discussion with HR where HR will ask about you your past experience your current role and etc The key is to have a decent introduction already prepared beforehand. If you are applying for the senior or lead role, obviously you are expected to talk more about your contribution to the current company, your ownership and all those things which strongly highlight your expertise as well as seniority. Make sure to keep it crisp, short and contentful. Your introduction is your first impression so keep it precise. HR might ask you more about your current role, your past experience. Please be prepared and have reasons in mind for the questions like why are you switching your current job? I usually try to make combination of genuineness and some diplomacy. I hope you get that. The next round is usually going to be an assignment or live coding round. I would really recommend you to practice a couple of weeks before even you start your job hunt. Practice lit code or hacker rank easy and medium level questions. Practice them as much as you can. Keep some common algorithm handy and prepared to be used. And the key is to appear stress free in the interview. Do not worry at all. Just be casual and normal. Please also ensure you prepare an empty Java, GoLang project or whatever coding language you prefer. Use your favorite IDE like IntelliJ or Eclipse and set up your testing environment too beforehand. If you are not used to of test driven development, then please don't show off in front of the interviewer. Use all the methodologies and setup that you use in your daily job. Solve the problem first with the simple brute force approach. and afterwards obviously you can optimize once you crack this round the next round is going to be a system design round these days system design round are like mandatory rounds for software engineer i really love system designs in fact i am planning to create videos for system design questions if you are interested then please let me know in the comment box based on your interest i will create those videos so system design rounds are meant for evaluating your ability 
So your ability of defining architecture, product design, modules, interfaces, database design, etc. The key is first understand the goal and gather all requirements. Then think of the solution. Write down your understanding, your possible solution. Think loudly, start from the core and move outward slowly. Which means build your core system first that solves the problem and then gradually move towards API gateways and other interfaces, scalability, resilience, etc. Of course, it is important to reflect your knowledge about concepts related to the distributed system like caching, load balancing, network protocols, etc. But first think about the solution. Think about the data, relations, behavior and model. It is also possible that you do not need microservice architecture for the given requirement and that's why you have to understand the goal first and then move towards fancy concept related to the distributed system. Some companies evaluate the technical abilities in two rounds only, but some also goes beyond four to five rounds. But these two rounds, system design and live coding or assignment, they are very common. After technical round, the final round is going to be with your hiring manager. So in this round, they'll try to know more about you, your behavioral aspects, your different experiences, your story, and then they will judge if you can fit in their team or not. I hope you get some values from my interview experience. I would like to talk more on this. I want to go more technical, but maybe in the next video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to prepare for your next interviews, then please let me know. Follow me on my Instagram. I hope that I will get time to revert each one of you back. So that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Meanwhile, take care, stay healthy and stay wealthy. Bye.